Benifer is going to Texas. Jennifer Lopez will travel to Austin to spend time with Bo Ben Affleck in his condo as he films the movie Hypnotic. They have been spotted touring mansions across Los Angeles as they reportedly plan to move in together. But now Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck will be taking a break from Southern California as they spend time in Texas, sources tell TMZ. Ben, 49 is reportedly renting a luxury condo located in the city of Austin as he films a new movie, and his love is set to join him throughout the shoot. Although J. Low, 52, will be spending time with Ben throughout the duration of filming, she won't be in Texas full-time, as she still has obligations back in Los Angeles and elsewhere. The Hustlers star was previously based in Miami with her twins Emma and Max, 13 but she has been spending most of her time in Los Angeles since restarting her romance with the Argo star. Ben will be in Austin to film the thriller Hypnotic, which pairs him with director Robert Rodriguez, Sin City, Alita, Battle Angel. The actor and occasional director will star as a detective investigating a series of high-end crimes that appear to be connected to the disappearance of his daughter and a secret government program. The Suicide Squad's Alice Braga will also be featured in the mystery. Hypnotic was set to begin filming in April 2020, but was delayed due to the ongoing coronavirus pandemic. In September of last year, the production sued the insurer Chubb after it refused to pay out for delays caused by the pandemic. According to Deadline, the insurance issues have since been resolved, and the production is ready to start. Jennifer's stints in Texas with Ben may be a dry run for the two to move in together once they find a suitable home for her in L.A. Last month, the Lovebirds toured a stunning $85 million mansion in Beverly Hills that boasted 38,000 square feet, 12 bedrooms and 24 bathrooms, as well as a basketball court, a pool and a boxing ring. Sources told TMZ that the couple appeared to be looking for a home for both of them as Jennifer might not need all that space for just herself and her children. Ben and Jennifer have been enjoying the weather in Venice as they attended the iconic Italian city's prestigious film festival on Friday. The Waiting for Tonight singer was there to support Ben at the premiere of his new film The Last Duel, which reunited him with his longtime friend Matt Damon. The historical drama is the first time the two have collaborated on a screenplay since they won Oscars for 1997's Good Will Hunting. Matt stars as a real-life French knight from the 14th century, while Killing Eve's Jodie Comer plays his wife. When she accuses her husband's squire, Adam Driver, of raping her, the two men engage in a battle to the death in the last legally sanctioned duel in France. Ben was originally set to play Adam's role but he opted to play the smaller role of another nobleman close to the action in order to spend less time on set and more at home with his three children, Violet, 15, Serafina, 12, and Samuel, 9. He shares the children with his ex-wife Jennifer Garner, 49, to whom he was married from 2005 to 2018, though they separated in 2015. Ben reunited with his former fiancée Lopez in the spring following her split from her fiancé Alex Rodriguez in April. The couple had previously dated in the early 2000s and had been engaged from 2002 until early 2004, before separating. But according to TMZ, Ben got back in touch with Jennifer in February and began sending her loving and longing emails while she was on set filming. They repeated the gesture in a steamy set of photos in June to mark the singer's 52nd birthday. In addition to The Last Duel, Ben has finished production on the thriller Deep Water, which co-stars his ex Anida Armas, and George Clooney's drama The Tender Bar. He's also set to reprise his role as Batman, likely for the last time, in the upcoming Flash spin-off film. Coming off her acclaimed role in Hustlers, Jennifer will star in the already completed comedy Marry Me with Owen Wilson, which is set to be released on February 11, 2022. Thank you.
for tonight singer was there to support Ben at the premiere of his new film The Last Duel, which reunited him with his longtime friend Matt Damon. The historical drama is the first time the two have collaborated on a screenplay since they won Oscars for 1997's Good Will Hunting. Matt stars as a real-life French knight from... He shares the children with his ex-wife Jennifer Garner, 49, to whom he was married from 2005 to 2018, though they separated in 2015. Ben reunited with his former fiancée Lopez in the spring, following her split from her fiancé Alex Rodriguez in April. The couple had previously dated in the early 2000s and had been engaged from 2002 until early 2008.